Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us again. And today we are doing a... Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> a night owl. And I'm so excited to paint this with you. So let's get started, let's get your supplies. The first thing is, is you'll notice that our, my paper has the owl already an outline on it. So if you have our box or a kit, go and grab that. If you don't, say, hey parent, I want to do this. And you can download this as an outline on our website and paint along. Then we have our watercolors that we like to use. We are using four colors today. We're using rose red, and this is a mixing guide that also comes in your box. Lemon yellow and berry blue. Oh, and the black. That can go in the middle. So if you don't have rose red, you can use magenta or red or fuchsia. If you don't have berry blue, grab any blue. This one's a little bit darker, so you'll notice, so I'm using a darker blue. And then lemon yellow or any of our other, other yellows. So those are the three colors, or four colors that we're using. Then we always have a paintbrush. I'm gonna be using both a big and a small one and then a cup of water and your paper towel. Then, let's introduce you to Keenan first and then we'll do our motto and then we'll be ready to go. So. Hello. Sorry for the shuffle sounds from my apron. This is Keenan. Sounds crazy. <laughs> our cameraman who you probably know already. And then the last thing we wanna do before we get started is I would like you to raise your hand and repeat after me like you're in school. <laughs> We're going to repeat our motto. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <gasps> and then fist bump. So, <laughs> fist bump. This project, you're going to be so brave with me because there's a lot of steps and layers that we're going to be doing together today. So, don't give up on me on this one. I want you to do this with me. Okay. The first step is is we're going to be mixing three different browns. Here's our guide. So on our guide, you'll see that there are three browns right here. Do you see how they're a little bit different? Yes. Yes. So we're gonna be mixing those together. Now, if you have a brown, go and grab that. But if you don't, I wanna show you how we can make it together because on our owl, do you see how there's a light brown, there's a darker brown, and then there's a really dark brown that we're gonna be using uh, right here. Not cool? Yes. Okay, so let's first mix our colors so we can get ready. Oops, I wanna keep this here. So the first one is, is we're gonna mix this red-brown. So on our guide, it says three drops of yellow, one drop of blue. The blue's a little stringy. And two drops of red. The blue Oops, just is really wanting red. to be involved. <laughs> it is. So if you added more drops, that's okay. We're gonna see what happens when we mix them together. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Whoa. So I'm just gonna grab a scratch piece of paper. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Ooh whoa. Wow. That's a very red. So I think I added too much red. Now, if your comes out like that, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna add one more blue. We're gonna experiment. So we're just trying to get, I, I do want a red brown, but let's see. I added one blue and one yellow. Ooh, okay, yeah. So we're getting a little mm. bit more brown. It's kind of cool, actually. Should I paint my owl that color? Yes. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Okay, so Man. that's one. That's the red brown. Then brown is I'm gonna do six drops of yellow. Two, three, five, six. One drop of blue. My blue is strong. Two drops of red. So, what we're doing is, if you look at our color wheel, ooh, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's a cool brown. That's nice. So it's a very slightly different. So what's happening is, this brown has more yellow in it. So see how we did six drops here and three drops here? Yes. So it's closer to the yellow. So maybe let's oh. even add, let's see what happens. Ooh, two more. Whereas this one is closer to the red and the orange. So that's why it's, a, it's called red brown, because it has a little bit of a tint. We're brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then our last one is going to have a little bit more blue. So let's do that one. So three drops of yellow, two 
two drops of blue mm. and two drops of red. Now, whatever colors you get, you can use. Ooh, doesn't have to be these exact colors that I'm using. Ooh, fun. So do you see how that one is a little bit darker? Yeah, that's a nice brown. I think I want to add a little bit more. I'm just going to play around. Ooh, yeah, just by mixing different colors. It's so fun to see what you get. Ooh, that one has a little more purple in it. Okay, let's rock and roll. Let's just see what happens. My, our owl may be a little bit of red. That's cool. That's going to be a super cool owl. Ooh. And your owl can be any color. I just want to say that you don't have to paint this brown. If you want a purple owl, go for it. A rainbow owl? A rainbow owl. I like that. You get to paint this any color. Okay. So the first thing is also, I taped my paper down so it doesn't move. So maybe go and do that as well. Now, the first step is, is pick one of your browns that you have. I'm gonna do the lighter one and the more red one. So I'm gonna dip in my water. You have this close to me. Dip in your water, pick up your color. And then you're going to paint your owl. Now, when you're painting, here's what I wanna tell you, is I'm not pushing really hard. So I'm not going like this into my paintbrush. I'm just dipping and kind of lightly grazing the paper. So you don't need to press too hard. Oh yeah, this is a pretty color. Sometimes if you press too hard, you might hurt your brush. Yeah, we gotta be kind to our brushes. And now if you find this brush is really big, maybe you switch to the smaller brush. Ooh. And here's the fun thing. If you're like, Nicole, I wanna mix different colors is I'm gonna have some yellow right here. Maybe you add in some yellow while you're painting it. Ooh, that'll be pretty. Not fun, maybe. Ooh, and then watercolor it. kind of moves on its own. Yes. So it's just gonna do its own thing as it dries. Yes, Keenan makes a really good point. So we're just painting the face part. Fun. Then. Let's paint the wing. So this is the wing of our owl. This is going to be a mythical owl. Ooh, okay, I like yeah. that. Where does he live? In a land of Argus. <laughs> okay. His name is Tyler. <laughs> Great. Sounds like a good fella. Yeah. He's very smart. He's a bookworm. And it may not look like it, but his superpower, flying. <laughs> he flies really well. Tyler from Argus. His nickname is Night Owl. Mm. So he's not a morning person. Morning owl, morning animal. It's, a, it's an ironic nickname. So that means he's actually a morning person. Oh. They call him Night Owl because all his buddies are not morning people. So they're like, oh, okay, night owl. <laughs> and he actually loves mornings. I like it. Okay, <laughs> wow, Keenan's gonna keep telling us some stories, but what I want to tell you is, we painted our owl, and I actually added, while I was going, I wasn't really thinking, I just kind of picked up some yellow, so that's the fun thing, is you can mix any colors. Now, what I want to show you is, though, if you can see on this owl right here, do you see how it's darker right here and right here? So we're going to do that and that is creating a shape. So this is the head of the owl, just like our head and our body, if we can do a front view, is our head is out a little bit and there's a little bit of a shadow. I don't know, depending on, there's so many different lights right now. We have a pretty sophisticated light setup, <laughs> so we might look different. That's true. So, but the shadow is there to create form. So we're gonna make our the head of our owl look round. So to do that is I'm gonna use one of my darker colors over here. I'm gonna pick it up on my brush and right below, so if we can see this line, below that line on the wing, I'm gonna paint just a strip. So watch this. This is not barbecue sauce. <laughs> this what? is an actual shadow. That's what you're telling us? Yes. That's what, I'm glad you clarified because <laughs> Tyler loves barbecue wings. Oh, those are tasty. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> so do you see how it made a little bit of a shadow right there? Uh-huh. Okay, now we're gonna do it to the other side. So here's my pencil line, is I'm just gonna draw underneath it. And go whoop. Just like that. Does it look That's like amazing. the head, right? Yeah. His Isn't head cool? kind of pops a little bit, makes head. him look, yeah, separated. Yeah. Separated, yes. And now I want you to do that at the bottom of the wings a little bit and we're gonna add some feathers. So I'm using the darker color again. And here I'm just gonna go from the bottom and draw short lines going up. Ooh. So what we're doing is we're, again, making this look round. So I'm just going like that, line, line, line. Boom. Okay, do you see how it's starting to look round? Yes. Look what we're doing together. Did you know an owl's hoot could be heard from over a mile away? What? Huh? I did not know that. Pretty cool. Miles of really far. It's quite the distance. Whoa! That's how far I can throw a football. <gasps> Look Sorry. at his ear! I just got excited. Do you see his ear? I think I got a little water droplet right there. Oh, this is the fun thing about watercolors. You never know what you're going to get. Even it's... accidents make it cool. Yes. I love that. Okay. Next step is, is on our owl. And here's one fun thing. The owls look different, isn't that cool? Yeah. All our owls are different. That's one of his buddies that's an actual night owl. <laughs> We're gonna do the yellow of the eyes and then the front part of the body. So I have my yellow, let me put more yellow out. We good? Put more yellow out on my palette. And I'm gonna use my small brush because I'm painting a really small area. So now I'm gonna dip in my paint. Now, when you're doing this, this may be dry, or if this is wet, you can pause. If you wanna keep going, here's a trick I wanna show you. I want you to point your paintbrush up and down like this, and you could put your hand on the table, but I want you to just really lightly press. Do you see the tip of my brush? I'm not smushing it. I'm just going foop, foop, foop. Just lightly grazing the paper. Good sound effects. Isn't that cool? Yeah. With the sound effects. Do you know that Tyler is an owl as a hobby? He's, a, he's actually a construction worker full time. Ah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. I hear, mm -hmm. I hear he's working back there. He is. He's got some work going on right behind our studio right now. That's why, oh, I should make him construction orange, orange then. <gasps> No, that's okay. He doesn't like to mix work with pleasure. True, true. He likes okay. to keep them separate. <laughs> okay, so we painted the eyes. Now, let's paint the body part. So, here's the thing. If your wings are wet, the colors may start to blend. Now, that could be really cool. So, we're going to do that. It may, I think it may blend right here, but I want to show you why I think that's cool. You never know what you're going to get. So, I'm going to dip my brush in my water. Swish it around, hit it off to the side, pick up my yellow. Let's just paint this whole thing yellow. Ooh, look at that bright color. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Oh, yep. It kind of looks like he's wearing a mask with bright <laughs> circle goggles. I should have mentioned that your owl is going to look a little, a little silly in the beginning. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to keep going because in the end, I promise you it will look sweet. Okay, so we painted this yellow. Now, it's actually kind of already blended in together, but I want to show you one more trick. It's just like we took a darker color and made this pop, we're going to do a darker orange mm. and make the inside body look like it's popping as well. So what we're gonna do is we're going to mix orange. So on our color wheel, we did all of these colors. Now we're gonna mix orange, maybe one of these. So to do that, I'm gonna get, says six drops of yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one drop of our rose red. Oh, it was a big drop. That was a big drop. Now. Oh, yeah, that's a dark color. Look at all these cool colors we got here. Ooh! Ooh, wow. So. It's like we, a spicy orange. That is. <laughs> now, I'm going to pick up that color, and just on the edges, 
kind of already happening right here. I'm going to do that swipe of a color, so like that. Swipe of a color, and a swipe of a color right here. Woo, do you see how that pops? Now, if you see that line and you want to blend it, here's a trick I got for you. Dip your brush in water, hit it off to the side, you don't want it too wet, and we're gonna paint on top of that line. We're gonna watch it blend and go back and forth. Do you see that? Yeah, that blending. Isn't that cool? That is magic in and of itself. <gasps> We're just learning magic together. Let's do it one more time. Dip your brush in water. Hit off to the side. Over this line, I'm gonna blend and go across. Magic. Oh, that looks cool. Beautiful. Can you get a little, a little hoot? <laughs> I love it. Okay. Now we are going to, oh, oh, well, that's a fun color. I'm also going to use the orange that I painted because the beak or his nose and his feet. Ah, ooh, that's convenient. Orange. I got the color. So we're gonna paint this. I think if I were to paint an owl, he might be blue. Hmm. You know? That's a fun thing. Maybe we could paint more. We could do a blue owl. Do a blue owl. Do a rainbow one, like you said. Yeah. And if you really, if, if the owl I painted was a night owl, he'd need better camouflage. Oh, a camo owl? Camo owl. <laughs> Put some trees on there. It'd be so fun. Okay, now the other thing is that our bodies, our owls have feathers. So we're gonna draw U shapes to make them look like feathers. So grab your brush, dip it in water. I already have my orange, so I'm gonna use orange. Oh, or I wanna see something. If you have orange, what happens if I put orange on my palette? Pick up a little bit of this color. That's cool. We're just gonna keep mixing. So pick a color, pick a darker color than what you have here. And I want you to draw U shapes like this. U, U, and connect them. And they're gonna draw a lot of them and connect them. Maybe some of them are small, some of them are big. You know what this makes me think of? What? Chain mail armor. Huh? Do you know what chain mail is? No. Chain mail is something they used on knights in shining armor. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. On our owl. Because he's, he moonlights <laughs> as a vigilante protecting the forest. He's a very busy owl, this Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Tyler is sitting, oh, what's his land called again? His land? Yeah. Oh, where he's from? Yeah. Argus. Argus, okay. It's A-R-G-U-S. Tyler lives in Argus. In Argus, there are a bunch of branches that we need to paint. So, let's see, we have our, I'm gonna use this darker brown that we have. Oh, I need to dip my brush in water. Hit it off to the side. Dip in your color and we're gonna paint the branch. So I'm using my small brush and watch. I'm just gonna really lightly touch the paper. So I'm painting Tyler's branch. He's chilling on a branch. Is he, what is he doing here? Is well, he's he perched there for a reason. See, it's got the best vantage point of all of Argus. Mm. Argus isn't very large, but there's a lot of little rapscallions running around, running amok, causing a ruckus. And he's just trying to make sure he, you know, he's keeping things tidy. He's watching everyone? He's watching. With his big oh, eyes? He's watching. With his big eyes and his 180 degree turning capability with his head. <gasps> he can turn all the yeah. way around without moving his body. <laughs> like that. I forgot owls can do that. Good fun fact. Fun fact. Okay, now what we have is, we have that. 
we are going to paint the eyes. So I have black already, so I'm just gonna put some out on my palette. Now, for the black eyes, here's what I wanna show you, is when you're coloring this in, do you see how there's a really small circle? So, the owls are busy at work and they need to be able to look out and there might be a light shining on them, like the moon, mm -hmm. it's night out. The moon is shining bright, so there's a little white reflection that they see. So, or it's their night owl signal from the local police department asking uh -huh. for vigilante help. <laughs> that could be it as well. That could be it too. And if that's the case, it could be the shape of an owl in their eye. <gasps> a tiny, really tiny small. owl. I don't okay. know. It'd if be really hard. That. It'd be really hard to do that. You could try that. Now, here's what I want to show you is I would like you to draw first. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have my inside my circle. I'm going to draw another small circle like that. Then I'm going to paint around the circle black. And I'm going to fill this in. And again, I'm just lightly touching my paper. I'm not pushing very hard. Filling that in. Oh, our owl's coming alive. It's looking at you. He's always got one eye open. Let's do the other side. So again, draw a small circle. And then you're going to fill it in around it. The criminals that he catches call him One-Eyed Ty. <laughs> That's a good nickname. <laughs> Maybe he has a patch over one eye? Do you know why? Why? Because if he has a patch over one eye during the day, then at night he always has an eye prepared. Oh. Then he switches? He switches eyes. <laughs> he gets his other eye prepared for the dark. And he That's smart. Back. Yeah, he is a smart Tyler. <laughs> Okay, good job. I just want you to first look at what you made. It's a beautiful owl. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I love his belly. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do is you get to decide what time of day it is. Ooh. So we called this a night owl. So I'm going to paint the black or the background black and blue, like a mix of colors. But if it's daytime, maybe you paint early light blue. Maybe it's summer and it's a an ombre sunset in the background. Mm. I want you to be creative. So what, what we're going to do, ombre? oh, ombre means a lot of different colors. So we've done some projects where it goes yellow, orange, red, purple, and a mix of it. So ombre means a mix of them. Oh, like, like how you blended his belly? Yeah. And everything was blended really smooth? Yes. Mm, that'd be pretty. So that's what that means. We've done a few projects like that. So what we're gonna do is, let's see. I have my black right here and I'm gonna put a lot of my blue right here. And then I have those two colors. And whenever you switch colors, remember to wash your brush. And when we wash our brush, you just sweep the bottom of the cup. And then I'm gonna go for it. So I want you to pick up one color. And then we're gonna paint the background. Now, when you're doing this, for this one, you can push a little bit harder on my paintbrush. Not too hard, because I don't want to really smush it. But you can push a little bit harder. And then I'm going to pick up some black. Watch this. Whoa, that's so dark. Look what happened, too. Do you see that it exploding? super cool. So I always like to grab water, pick up the color, and then just kind of blend them. Whoa. So this is the fun thing. Your background can look like anything. So we're just gonna mix in the colors. So I'm using blue, the berry blue, and the black. Maybe I'll pick up some black. Oh, the black just likes to spread. Yeah, it just flows. Yeah, that looks awesome. So I want you to have fun and paint your background with me. Sweet. Okay, so keep going, paint your background, add in a few colors, have fun, and I'll meet you at the end.
Okay, so we are back. I painted the entire background and look how cool. So cool. This is the fun thing. Like we said about watercolors, that was a happy accident right there. Look how cool these explosions wow. are. Wow. Watercolors have a mind of its own and I think it's so fun. And I'm so glad you painted here with me today. I hope that you love your owl. And if you don't, guess what? You can make more. <gasps> That's the fun thing about yes. painting is you can just keep making more and more and make more friends who are owls and paint along with me. So we have a Facebook group that's called Let's Make Art Kids. I would love for you to take a picture of your owl, smile and tell me what your owl's name is. And maybe even your best owl noise. Ooh, give us an owl noise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe there's a deeper one. Mm -hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Yes, that will be so much fun. This is the fun thing about painting is we're being creative together and making our own world, right? Yes. We can live here. This is awesome. <sighs> so I will see you next time to paint, to paint with me. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative. Bye.